Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Animal's World. In the last episode, we did a lot of work on the cliff, which caused us to do a lot of work on some inside rooms that we didn't really plan for, and it was a lot of work. Uh, but this episode, we're going to focus on um, kind of finishing up some of that inside work. Like, let's go ahead and bring these walls out. Um, I think I still want that door over there. Maybe we're going to close off the wall over here and not have it go back into that direction very much. And then, you know, what kind of stairs are we going to have here? Maybe we are start working on the bridge. Maybe, maybe that's a bridge too far. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but start making this look like that fun little uh, room that you see um, in different parts of the 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 series you know the big grand one again it was that was that same room where there was some shenanigans going on so i'm gonna have to go watch those movies make sure i get the correct inspiration um for that you know i haven't really figured out yet exactly you know what i want those stairs to look like um at first i was thinking something symmetrical right so you come in here i think this is the center block whatever wherever wherever the center block is and you know you would see you know, maybe it uh, it goes up on the sides and goes into the middle, or it goes up the middle and splits to the sides. You know, you think you see those things, but then I was thinking, no, none of those none of those rooms that they were in were very symmetrical. That like the stairs just went up on one side and then they went up um, from there. You know, I think I think I think that's what I want to do. But there's so much room here. I right? that's I could I don't need this much room. So maybe I made this too big. I don't care. Uh, we'll figure out how we're going to work all the, the details out of this. But yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to finish this interior wall. Maybe a couple little sneaky holes so that we can get, you know, back into the backside of the of the build. And then, you know, start, you know, finish this wall, finish this wall, finish this wall, finish this wall. At least in terms of the plain terracotta look. Um, maybe not in terms of the detailing, but certainly in terms of the just the terracotta. Have it go up, you know, ooh, well... Okay, I said I was going to finish it, but guess what? Guess what that means? I'm going to need like six more shulker boxes, and that's all I have. So that probably means another trip out to the painted desert. But anyways, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I can totally do that. Um, oh, let's land up here. Can I land up here? Am I skilled? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and then just go ahead and take this wall. Right? Um, and because you know this this building's got this kind of gaping hole on both sides over there, and right here, and I don't know. Like, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and cinch that up. Again, maybe I don't get the details in. Maybe I don't have windows. Maybe I don't have little spires. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Get the inside wall. And um, so maybe I said I was doing the interiors. Maybe that's not what I'm doing. Maybe really what I'm doing is the structural parts of the body. Um, and then we'll do detailing and interiors maybe in the next episode. Oh, I fell. Oh, hello, I fell. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. I think that's what needs to be done, now that I think about it. But, you know, if you ever have an opportunity to fly around this thing, it is just a blast. Uh, just kind of going up and over, you know, all the way to the top of these funny little guys. Oh, yep, exactly as I meant to. Exactly as I meant to. Mm, it's just fun. You waste so many rockets just doing this all day. And imagine when all this wall is in and all of these towers. Um, and then imagine, even more ridiculously, imagine this side is done. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be it's going to be quite the thing. And then just to come fly through all this, as opposed to me right now just flying through the, the skeleton of it. Okay. I thought I was killed. All right, I wanted to bring you back in so we can talk a little about what has transpired in this build. It's um, a lot more than I would hope to have done just to do cliff work. And the cliff's not done. It was done, and now it's not done. Not done. Why is it not done? 
Um, okay, so let me try to explain what happened and then what happened again. Let's go a little closer. So the shape of the building was different. It was very flat and then it was very symmetrical and in the middle of it, this is where the bridgey bridge was gonna come out. And the more I worked with it, the more I was like, no, it's not really what I want. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to bring out uh, this a piece of it a little bit differently than what I had designed. And I did that and I did that in the middle and then it's like, no, that's not what I want. Um, you can see I've lowered the floor. This is no longer on the same level. Uh, sneaky under here. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, but then, but then, you know, this is no longer the shape of the shape anymore. This is no longer the coming outy of the coming outy. This is no longer, so you can see the cliff now, no longer workies. But I'll fix that. I fix cliff later. But before I fix cliff, I want to make sure that this is the actual shape that I'm happy with. So there was another 3D model that I found um, different than the ones I'd seen before. And it, it put this whole thing not in the center, but way off to the side. And, okay, okay hold on. Let's go back up here. Let's just flying around. And it made this here six floors where this was not six floors. Now I didn't really know how many floors this is. I said, you know what, I'll just make it whatever I did over here. I will keep this consistent. But uh, that area there will be six floors. So it will be taller. Oh, I see you. I see you. So I built a little bit on the inside here to say, okay, well, where would this roof line be? Let, let's get the roof in and that will help me decide if I'm happy with the shape of the rest of this, which will make me know that I'm happy with the shape of the bottom, which will make me know that I'm happy with the cliff and I can finish the cliff. Oh, all of this just to finish the cliff. Yeah, the cliff might not be finished for a while. And okay, so here we're on the, the, the roof of this six floor building is in a very steep roof. It's got some details. It's got some, it's got some, um, you know, windows and all those sorts of things that make it look like there's additional floors that are just up there. Well, that over there has a very shallower roof. So anyways, I think this is what I want. Um, that tower shape is going to go up uh, to be even taller than this roof. Well, the roof of it will be the actual tower. I guess it's about the same height, but then the little circular roof goes. And the same is going to happen on that side. So those parts are the same. That, that, same. They're going to be symmetrical. They're going to look um, like they belong on each end. But you see, we are no longer symmetrical here. We have this and this side. This is going to be here. But that changes also some of the ideas on where things are going to go. This is supposed to be the common rooms, um, which I think still can be the common rooms. But yeah, they're going to look a lot different. The, if you try to remember the movie, right? They come through the stairs, um, book one. Um, they go up some stairs. They go through the, the, the picture of the portrait of the fat lady, whatever that thing's called. They get into the Gryffindor common room. Um, but it's not necessarily at the top of the stairs. There's like a little bit of a hallway. So this still works, right? They get up to whatever level. Maybe I put Gryffindor on because um, they're still level below us now. But I still think they went up. So maybe the Gryffindor is on this one or on that one. You turn a corner. Da, 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 da. I think that's going to look nice. Gryffindor can take many spaces. Also, I believe, according to the canon, one of the other houses is supposed to be in this room. Slytherin's supposed to be in the basement. Ravenclaw's supposed to be, I think, over out that way, 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 way over that way. Um, so maybe Hufflepuff is also in this room somewhere. So I'll maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't got it all figured out. Uh, it was going to be the symmetrical thing, and it was going to... You know, I had this whole wall planned. It was all it was all planned, and it's all gone. It's all garbage now. New plans, and I think I think I like it a lot better. Well, I do like it a lot better. Uh, this is the really big bridge that takes you out um, with all the great battles, you know, on the bridges. Or it is this big one, big wooden, rickety bridge. I guess it's not rickety. It just looks like it's in ziggy zaggy, not really straight. And this is supposed to come out over the cliff. So this is correct that it's over the cliff, but this cliff now has to come out to be like, yes, that's why they ended the building here because that's where the cliff was. 
and uh, yeah, and so this cliff then has to be pushed back. And I was like, well, they would have built the building here if the cliff was all the way here. So let's make it look like the cliff was back there, and that's why they built the foot web. Yeah, 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 talking. Okay. All right. Anyways, that was a ton of work. A ton, ton. Uh, yes, I wanted to put an arrow in my offhand. Mm -hmm. How many times in Minecraft do you think if only there was a quick way to put an arrow in your offhand? Yeah, no kidding. It happens all the time. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go take a little bit more flies around. I don't think I'm going to work on any of the clip. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of now in the mood to finish this uh, shape of the exterior. All right, I won't get the details in it, like the little windowies, like this one does, or the... Uh, all the funny little things that you put on it. Uh, I was just going to get the roof line in and then just drop this white terracotta down. It'll be ugly. It'll be big, flat, white, just whatever that is. But uh, I, I get some of the floors in. Maybe I'll go ahead and keep with this. Uh, this is what the Diane Wanda was doing. She wanted to have this sort of design on the upper floors. So we'll go ahead and keep that going all the way up and then just, just, just have the structure done. And then, um, then I'll probably be in the mood to say, okay, now let's make it pretty. Let's do the details. Let's get the windows in. Let's get um, doors. Let's get some more walls, interior walls. Let's get the, the cliff in. All right, I'm bringing you back because I got some work to show you. I have, oh, can I save my mirror? Can I save my mirror? the roofs in mostly mostly so let's fly around and let's see what this is going to look like i didn't get all the walls in uh, I, as i was putting the walls in i realized well, i don't know how far i'm going up i don't know where the levels are going to be so i'm like okay well, let me kind of sketch in the big box right you see the the, the professional minecrafters do it that way right? like they make the big box i didn't quite do it the professional way but it's like yeah i actually had to figure out where the tops of these things were um, so if we come out here, you can see what I was saying, that this middle piece, which is no longer in the middle, it's no longer symmetric, right? It sits off to the side of this other piece. And this is going to be, um, I don't know, I thought the slope, the slope was slopey enough, but maybe it's too slopey and it has to be less slopey. I don't know. I don't know. The problem is you can have a one by one slope, do 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 do, or a up two over one slope. I guess I could have it where it's like it's up two and then up one and up two and then up one. And that one might, yeah, yeah, maybe I'll have to redo it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so this part is the part that's six floors. And then this part over here um, was much less. Now, I, because I was building some other things and I had some other designs in mind, it's taller. So really, I could zap a level off the top of that. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it taller so it's actually gonna be like five floors it's you know and this thing's over here is gonna be six actually it's gonna kind of be seven because that that roof is so tall so unless I can find a way to bring that down yeah I think I was I think it's looking nice and then you know fill in all of this wall with the white terracotta then put the floors in I have some stone here and some stone there and some wood I, I I'm not I do want to keep it this. This is yes, but I think only yes in the common rooms, which is going to be here over. So maybe this this way is stone, or maybe it's just a different type of wood. Um, actually, I was, you know, because there's a lot of hallways in Hogwarts, there's always a hallway scene. Uh, maybe, maybe, right? There's a hallway. Yeah, yeah, actually, the hallway would be on the inside, as I think. I don't know. Um, and maybe the hallway stays stone, but you go into the rooms, and the rooms have some sort of wood pattern. I like the idea of, you know, the bottom being stone, stone bricks, and the uppers being more wood. And see, there I have just actually planks as I was sizing it out, trying to figure out where things would start and the roofs might change direction and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, uh, another fun place to look at the roof is from the roof of this guy. Okay, urge out. Okay. What I was able to do on this side 
is this came down perfectly and hit. I mean, it just didn't happen that way. I, I, I counted and I, I said, okay, I don't, I don't want this to come down and then have to be a valley between them. You know, I know this is magic, but you wouldn't have those sorts of valleys in a real building because the water would get stuck there. The snow would get stuck there. Um, what you would do is you would, um, you know, find a way to keep it sloping. And I didn't want to have to figure out, you know, the engineer and me like, oh, am I going to, you know, handle the water that lands in between the two slopes? Nope. It's all one slope. One slope goes all the way down. Um, does it look dumb? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is too slopey. Yeah, I might have to somehow figure out a way to, to cut that down. Slopey, it's a word, trust me. Now, I didn't put the roof in on these corners because this tower, right, and there's some special shapes there, is going to come up. And I, I want to design that tower. They're actually kind of cool looking towers. They're not just the same width the whole way. They come in and out, and they're cone ish, and then they're, you know, then they're cylinder ish, and then they have uh, rims and um, so I, I want to be able to do that right, and if I have to cut away, you know, this roof because it's got to come up and do something cool, I want that to definitely look cool, even if this kind of maybe ends up not looking as neat. Although I'm sure it'll be fine, uh, but that's my goal. But I haven't done that yet, so I just kind of left it um, on that side, and, and it's the same again because that tower is going to be symmetrical over here. Whoa, there's a little bit of lag, or what was that? Was that a ghost? A ghost came and attacked me. Um, but also here, which is weird, is that the, because it's not centered, not centered, not symmetrical, there's just that much space. And do I, does that slope a different way than that slope? Probably. But how is that going to look? And how is the stuff and the stuff? And of course, I got to put that, uh, I got to put the tower in. But I don't, I think the tower's later. I think today, today is just going to be these more straight walls. You know the one that's under here these ones get a little bit of windows in them maybe get a little bit of floor and then that's that's going to be good enough for now and then later on if you decide hey this one floor needs to be something different fine you can tear it out and do something but you know go ahead and get the structure in um and also what do you think about the stairs hmm, hmm. it's nice right it kind of goes up and then it kind of turns it doesn't look too bad when it turns it doesn't look awesome you know angles are tough but oh, okay Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and break. I will keep working on all of this terracotta. Actually, my limiting factor right now is, is white dye. I've kept having to go back to the skeletal um, farm to get more bones because I keep running out. Now that I have plenty of terracotta, I keep running out of the dye. Um, see, I'm down, to, I'm down to three shulkers plus whatever this is. And, of course, there's some more bones that I went and just grabbed. And that's what all of that is. And then this is actually my last stone. Oh, yeah. I had like 20 shulkers of stone, and now I'm down to two. Hmm. That's going to be interesting when I run out of stone. Uh, let's get it's easy to get to. All right. I will break, and I will get back with you guys. All right, so the walls are in, and a little bit of the details are in. Not much, uh, but just enough to make it make it worth being being showing. Okay, let's go take a look. This uh, courtyard that uh, used to have a missing wall now has no missing wall. It is all in. I decided on this side, on the inside, to keep these bigger windows uh, with this kind of opener style. As you can see, the outside windows, you know, all the models just show these little itty bitty windows every now and then. And so it's like, well, the little windows aren't as awesome looking. So on the inside, I decided to, since I didn't have a model to show me otherwise, I went with the bigger windows. Now, of course, I don't know if this is the big clock that, uh, you know, Dumbledore falls out of, you know, 
after Snape, uh, um, spoiler alert, uh, Snape kills Dumbledore. Is that this clock? Is that a different clock? I didn't really think about that when I was building that. I'm like, oh yeah, I see that there's supposed to be a clock here. But is, is it the, is it the clock? Hmm. Because it's right behind that. So do, I don't know. That might be cool to sort of, you know, make a little... Well, I guess it wouldn't be behind that. It would be behind that up there. Uh, let's go take a look. But anyways, it's, uh, it'd be cool, you know, make it make the scene work. Yeah, there's the clock. Yeah, that makes more sense. Have a place where you can look out, because remember, they, they have places where you were standing or whatever. I, cl I closed it all in, because I wasn't thinking about it. Now I'm thinking, that's like, well, maybe that's, that's what I need to do, if that is the place. Uh, all the walls are all the way up. The... Little addition, this this wall, you probably were noticing, like, doesn't that, well, looks like it was pushed out two blocks. Oh, you are right. Keen eye. That's a very keen eye you have. This has been pushed out a couple blocks. Again, as I look at all the different models, I take the bits and pieces that I'm like, well, I like that of this one, and I don't like that of that one. Yeah, so there's a little bit of, um, just on the bottom. Little hole, high hole. I think that looks pretty nice. But again, now I have to go with kind of the smaller windows. Yeah, these windows are really much bigger than what the models show. Uh, but I went and I originally built this with a dark oak stripped log. Um, but it was just too dark. It was too punchy in the facey, like, wow. And so this is much more gentle. Uh, I still have the dark oak up there to kind of highlight that feature. And I think that looks really good. So yeah, do I put then like a little platform where people can look out underneath the clock? That's... That is the new question. All right, but this is kind of the front. So you come over the, the bridge bridge, and you're in the front of the castle. Um, maybe there may be a door. I don't know, but now there's no door. But you walk in, and this is what greets you. Uh, there'll be this nice-looking stairs. I totally redid the stairs from the last scene. Um, this doesn't actually use any stair blocks. It goes up half slabs every step. Okay, uh, nice stairway going up and out of way. I was thinking um, there was a... A statue of a warty hog, right? Somewhere. And I don't remember exactly where that's supposed to be, but I was thinking, what if I tried to figure out how to do that right here? So that would balance out the room. Uh, you know, you got to have doors to take you places. Doors on angles are tough. And there's really not much, you know, it's just hiding the undoneness of the rest of that. Same with that one over there. Uh, but then, you know, a little bit of a balcony up here. I don't know if this particular room is, like I said, in the Hogwarts movies or anything, but it just seems like this is what you would see, like a big grand, you know, it's two floors tall. Uh, you can still get to where you need to go. This will be the hallway to the professor's room. Each of the professors have a, an office slash room. I don't know where they sleep necessarily, but they at least had a, an office where the students can come visit them. Uh, since we're up on this floor, let's go, you know, finish taking a look around. So this wall's not all the way in, obviously. Got a couple doors there. I decided over here is going to be more, you know, stairs to help get around. It also helps me as I'm building. I don't have to fly and use as many rockets to get up and down. I can use the stairs to move around. Of course, I have scaffolding over there, too. And then this would be the Gryffindor common room. And you would come, so you'd come up the stairs. Uh, through the, 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 the stairy stair place, the moving stair place. Do I actually have a stairs that land on this level? Aha! Uh, no, actually I don't, because there's a the, the sense. But somehow, ow, okay. I did that on purpose, because I wanted to show you how you would get to that floor. Right, so they go through the moving staircase room, go down a little hallway, which I imagine will be this little hallway. Um... You know, maybe there's a room here that has the windows, and then there's uh, the hallway comes in here, and at the end of the hallway is the, the, the picture of the fat lady. Uh, say the magic word, get in, and this would be the common areas. Um, if you recall, it was like a big room, but then it had a back wall that you could go up on this side or up on that side, and there was the, the bedrooms by the windows. I think that's going to look nice. The uh, bathrooms. Um, I think we're in, always in like these circle areas, so you know, put a bathroom back here. I don't know that I'm going to have a ladies and a men's because I don't want to build all that. I just might be a bathroom that gets built back there, and they can fight over it. I don't care. It doesn't 
I don't care if that's accurate. Um, but then that leaves a lot of space over here. It's like, well, what, what do I do in this area? Um, I don't know yet. Besides floors with some halls, with some empty rooms, maybe make those some more professor's rooms. I don't know. Um, I think Hufflepuff is supposed to be in this building somehow, some way. Mm, and if that up there is going to be the clock area. Yeah, I did not think. Um, maybe there's some way to make that side, even though it's not as big as Gryffindor. But who cares about Hufflepuff? Right? Who's a Hufflepuff? Name one Hufflepuff. Exactly. Yeah, so they can just have a little area. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to figure it out. It's raining. It's raining. See? It's raining, and now you're worried, well, where's that water going to go? Well, it's going to just go right off the roof, just smoothly, like no problem at all. Yeah, see, you were worried about it, but now you're not worried about it because I did it right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this is all I have time for today. Um, it's looking really good. I'm looking forward to the next episode where I'm going to be able to do some more of the details on the outside. Maybe rough up some of this. Maybe put a couple stone bricks every so often. Maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe go ahead and start attaching the cliff to it. Because the cliff is no attached to it. Because, you know, I redid everything a hundred times. Hey, that was rude. And a creeper. Creepers happen. Yep. And then... Yeah, then it starts to be mostly interior work. Oh, see, that looks pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Step over here, it becomes rain again. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I lied. Okay, I'm a big fibber. Um, so I'm not really in the mood to do the towers, although the towers are going to look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep working on the inside. Putting the little windows in the ceiling, the, the roof, roof ceiling here. Maybe put that floor in. Just those sorts of little details. That's what we're going to look for the next episode. Um, all right. I always appreciate you taking your time to come and check out my content. Um, I appreciate uh, you know being able to do this and share it with everybody and hopefully you know you find it inspiring or at least fun to watch at least noise to have in the background if nothing else and uh, this is Ermel and I will talk with you all later bye bye.